guys and welcome back to Call of the Wild. Today we are doing the next video in our Where and When series, Where and When to Find Every Species in Parque Fernando. So today we're going to look at not one but every species on the map. We're going to look at all of their hotspots, the best times to hunt them, best weapons, best collars. Basically we're going to look at everything you need to know to hunt in Parque Fernando and we're going to head right into it. Let's do it. And as we go through, I am going to share with you guys a hotspot map for every species to show you exactly where you'll find them and the best places to hunt them. I am also going to post all of those maps to my Discord for you guys to easily reference, and I will leave the link below the video. Alrighty, so we are going to start out with the best loadout for Parquet Fernando. So generally, this is what I bring with me, and I do start with the 223. You can also bring the 243 or the Solikin, but the 223 weighs the least. So that is what I have selected. And I just want to point out to you guys that I do have the Pack Mule skill. And what that does is it allows you to carry an extra 3 kilograms of space. So I do highly recommend that that is a skill that you pick up. If you do not have it, you can pay to reset your skills and get that. And that makes a world of difference. I do highly recommend that you get the Pack Mule skill. Alright, so the 223 is for Black Buck and for Axis Steer. And then we're going to carry the 300, and that is for Water Buffalo. You can swap that out for the 338 if you do not own the 300. And then I have chosen for today the 303. But you can choose any class 4 to 8 weapon. You can bring the M1 or the 30 odd 6 or whatever you'd like. Any 4 to 8. And then we have the 22, and that is for Cinnamon Teal. And those are our weapons. So if you do not have the pack mule skill, you're only going to be able to carry 20 kilograms, not 23. So keep that in mind. So then I always carry with me the Argus and the Hyperion scopes. They are part of my permanent inventory. So then we have our collars. We have the Antler Rattler for Black Buck. We have the Axis Deer Screamer, the Bleak Collar for Muleys. Then we have the Distress Fawn Collar, and that is for Pumas. And we have the Red Deer Collar for Red Deer. There are no collars for Water Buffalo. There is a collar for Cinnamon Teal. I believe it is the Beacon Deluxe Duck Collar, and there are decoys, but they are currently not working right now, so we won't worry about those. So this is actually the Beacon Deluxe Duck Collar. I'm not actually going to carry it, but I just thought I would show it to you in case you would like to grab it at some point. And then we are going to carry our Doggy Biscuits. I am... Hunting with the pooch, I'm going to carry my first aid kit. You definitely need that with water buffalo around and our scent eliminator. And then I always carry with me the Apex View binoculars and the Gen Zero binoculars so that we can see no matter what time. Alright, so we're going to start off with our very first species and that would be water buffalo. Now my very favorite spot to hunt water buffalo is all along the right hand coast. There has got to be 95% of all of the buffalo on the map living on the coast. And there is a monster mythical way down there. There might be a bad in there, but there are just so many of them here. Now you will find them at pretty much any time of day because they are there whether they're resting, drinking, or feeding. But I do tend to like to hunt them when they are drinking. I am one of these people who loves to hunt around water. I do find it is the easiest way to locate animals. Now, when you are hunting along the coast, you're not going to just find water buffalo. You will also find things like pumas and you will find muleys. They also love to live on the coast. And that was a beautiful mythical water buffalo and... Water buffalo are actually, I believe, the only species that are able to make diamond at level 8 mythical. So definitely search all the way down from the top to the bottom of the coast for water buffalo. You will just find just so many of them. But we have moved on here and this is a lake that is awesome for buffalo as well and I call that Octopus Lake.
All right, so we are at what I like to call Ice Cream Lake, which is in the bottom center of the map. And you are always gonna find just a pile of water buffalo around this lake day or night. Now, if you do come to this particular spot on the lake, you will find just a pile of them resting. This is an amazing rest spot. And you will find it on any multiplayer server. It is almost always there. But it is time to have a look at the map. All right, so my very favorite spot to hunt for water buffalo is the coast. You're gonna find just so many of them there that you probably don't even need to hit any lakes. The coast is amazing, but you will find water buffalo at all of the lakes that I have circled, and probably the best one is Ice Cream Lake at the very bottom. Moving on to our next species, we are now gonna have a look at Axis Deer. Now, Axis Deer drink from 4 until 8 or 8.30. That is the time when I like to hunt them in their morning drink zone. They do also like to drink from 1800 until 21 or 2130, so you can also hunt them in the evening. And you're going to find them at all kinds of different lakes. They're all over the place. Look at all of them. So this is the lake with the stick sticking out of them. Unfortunately, most of the lakes are not named, and that is one of the very best spots for Axis Deer. Generally, I find at least three drink zones on this lake. All right, so look at all the animals here. We have just a pile of red deer and axis deer. And you'll notice as we go through, you're gonna see overlapping of animals in different spots because there are more than just one species at most lakes. So this lake is what we have traditionally called Puma Lake and you will find just a pile of axis deer there. I usually find at least three drink zones from that lake. So here we are at another random lake and there are just a bunch of axis deer here. This lake is amazing for axis deer. I always find at least two, often three or four drink zones for them at this lake. At this lake you will also find muleys and water buffalo. There are always quite a lot of water buffalo around here for sure. And I think this is actually the lake where I shot my last diamond red deer. So there you go. All right, we do have some axis deer. This is, this is a lake that doesn't get a lot of animals around it, but it always gets axis deer. Usually two different zones, but they are here like clockwork, and I have found them on every server that I've ever looked for axis deer on. And actually, this is the zone where I found a diamond albino axis deer. Now, they were broken at the time, so it doesn't really count, but the zone is definitely... always gonna be here. So for Axis Deer, I do use either the 223, the 243, or the Solikin, but another great option is the Air Rifle. The Air Rifle is awesome, but I would take those shots from about 100 meters so that they don't spook. And we actually have, that is a piebald female, and that level four that we took down was also piebald. Now piebald, Although it is officially a rare piebald, piebald axis deer are really not that rare. As you can see, we just shot a male and a female right out of the same herd. All right, so here he is. And even though they are fairly common, I think they're just beautiful. Piebald axis deer, stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And we do have a female here, and I'm gonna taxi both of them, why not? Nice little set, not too hard to find, but we'll take it nonetheless. But that lake is awesome for axis deer, and generally I find a zone 400 meters to the right and the left of that outpost. But that does bring us to our map. So I have circled all of the lakes where you're gonna find axis deer. Now the lakes with stars on them, those are where I have found the most. Those are the best lakes in my experience for finding axis deer. And I have shot diamonds at all of the starred locations. So that is where I would head. Head out nice and early. I would head out around 5.30. It is really foggy in the morning, so daylight is your friend. 
So our next species are muleys, and muleys drink from 9 until 12 or 12.30 in the morning, and then they drink again in the evening. Now I prefer to hunt them in the morning because in the evening it does get quite foggy and dark, but you can also hunt them from 2100 until midnight or 1230. So I did find two drink zones around this lake here and I call that the Seahorse Lake. So now we're on Acorn Lake and this is one of my favorite lakes for muleys. I have seen several diamonds shot off of this lake now, sadly, I was not the one doing the shooting. <laughs> I've never shot a diamond off this lake, but I've had a couple friends shoot diamonds off this lake, and there are always just a pile of muleys here. You're also gonna find water buffalo around this lake and red deer. So that is Acorn Lake. So this is just another random lake, doesn't usually get a whole lot of animals, and we do have quite a few muleys in here. So if you ever do need to call your muleys out, you can use the bleak collar. It does work pretty well for them. We're just gonna take a shot here and he is down. So as far as weapons go, I do like to use the M1 quite a bit, but you can use any four to eight class weapon. You can use the 30 odd six, you can use the 303 like I'm using right now. Any four to eight weapon for muleys will do the trick, whatever you're comfortable with. So this is what I call California Lake. This is the big jaggedy lake, the big long one in the center of the map. This lake is amazing, guys. This lake, you're gonna find all kinds of muleys, but not only muleys, you will find the occasional water buffalo, but you're also gonna find pumas, and there's one right now. And if you do, you should do what I'm doing and get rid of them because they're gonna spook everything, everything away. You're also going to find a pile of black buck here. Black buck love this area. So definitely check here for all kinds of species. And that is a pretty nice muley. That is a big guy. Nice big level four. And we actually got a pretty nice shot there. So let's have a look at him. So there's our puma. Doesn't matter what size, it will spook all the animals away. So if you do, Take a shot on your puma, get rid of it, the animals will come back. And that was a pretty nice muley. 303.9. So yeah, that is what I refer to as California Lake. Now, they're definitely going to be right at the bottom, but you're going to find quite a few at the top, and you will have zones all the way around that lake. All right, so we are literally steps outside the outpost and we do have muleys and water buffalo drinking here. Now this is what I call Octopus Lake. They don't have names, so we'll make names for them. And there is another monster muley. Now they can hide in here. It is tricky to find them, but have a good scout. You never know what you're gonna find in here. And down he goes. I often see black buck in here as well as red deer. And that guy's a 295.7, pretty nice. That's a couple of really nice muleys. So yeah, you will find muleys all around this lake. This is a great lake to check for them. And that brings us to the map. So you will find muleys at all of the circled lakes here. I have put stars at my favorites. So I have either shot a diamond at the starred locations or seen others shoot one. You will also find muleys along the coast. They do like to have zones along the coast. Not quite as many as water buffalo, but it is still worth it to hunt along the coast for them. Now, the lake on the left, that is the main muley lake. You will find quite a lot of them there. So we're moving on to our next species, and that is red deer. And... Red deer are just such a fun species to hunt and you're actually gonna find them on four different maps. <laughs> we definitely have a puma in there, but there are just, look at all the red deer, look at all the animals. But yeah, the pumas love to spook absolutely everything. So if you can get your eyes on them, definitely take them down because the animals will come back fairly quickly. But this is one lake where I am usually finding huge herds of red deer. So this is an awesome spot to check early in the morning for drinking red deer. 
So we are back here. This is Acorn Lake and again, a pretty nice large herd of red deer. So when you do come in from the outpost, you will find them fairly close on the left hand side. So you don't want to run in too quickly there, but that's a great spot to check. So the red deer do have a collar. The red deer collar works great for them. I do usually like to use the M1 for red deer, either that or the 303. Those are my two favorites, but any four to eight weapon will work just fine for them. Yes, and we just managed to take two of them down. They're not super huge, but you know what? They're there, so we might as well take them. But you will also find red deer in Quattro, Hirschfelden, and T. Auro, as well as here in Parquet, which is pretty awesome. Four maps to hunt them on. Not too bad. And this guy is just a silver. He's nothing special. But you know what? Cash is cash. We'll take it. And there they are trying to come back. They do love to come back very quickly, which is awesome. I love that animals come into their need zone so quickly now. It is such an amazing change. Oh, look at that. We have a melanistic axis deer. Is it ever black? He stopped for a second and then didn't get too far. Let's go have a look at him. But yeah, this lake is great for axis deer. This lake is awesome for red deer. You will find pumas around it and amazing for cinnamon teal. This is one of my favorite lakes for ducks, as a matter of fact. I have shot probably uh, the majority of my diamond ducks off of this particular lake. Oh, I love melanistic. That thing is so cool. So he is just a silver, but this is one of my favorite lakes for all species in parquet. And that is a really nice red deer. I love the rack on that thing. That is a nice seven. But this lake is absolutely huge. And that actually was a really nice hard shot. What a beautiful red deer. This is a great lake for dropping not one tent, but probably two. <laughs> probably a good idea to drop a tent at the top and the bottom. I probably should take my own advice, but we are gonna have a look at the map. So. As you can see, you're gonna find red deer pretty much on every lake on the map. Now I have put stars on my favorites. So this lake here, this is Puma Lake. That is just an amazing lake for red deer. We found a huge herd there. Then if you get up in the lookout tower on Octopus Lake, you will find red deer from there. And I don't even know what to call this lake, this one right here with the stick coming out, but that is one of my favorites for red deer, but you will find them pretty much anywhere on the map. I don't see them too much on the coast, but on the lakes, absolutely. Okay, so we're up in the lookout tower on Octopus Lake, and this is one of my favorite spots to hunt from. You can see so far from up here and you will be amazed at what you'll find. So we are now on to Pumas. Thought we would take a shot on that mythical. Don't think I got him there, so we'll take another one. Oh, he is down. That was a hard shot. So what I do is I, I very carefully jump up on the railing and then I go prone because I am taking very, very far shots. And we do have the render bug right now. So you do want to take them down if at all possible. So I am trying to go for heart shots. But pumas usually don't go too far. And that was, that was good. That was sweet. And we do have another, that was an axis deer that just took off. But yeah, you come up here early in the morning. We have pumas out here. We have axis deer. Didn't get the heart there. But he isn't going to go too far. Not a problem. But I am finding, as I am hunting for pumas, I'm finding a lot of females. Look at all those axes, dear. So coming up here and finding a bunch of male pumas, this is an awesome spot for sure. So you're not going to find spots with piles and piles of pumas like you find mountain lions in Silver Ridge Peaks. It's just not the same. They are definitely more spread out and sporadic. Now pumas actually have three different drink times, if you can believe that. They drink from 6 till 9 or 9.30, then they drink again from 13 until 17 or 17.30, and then they drink again 
from 2100 until 030 or half past midnight. And Octopus Lake is awesome for male pumas. I actually had a really hard time finding males, but this lake that we're at right here had four drink zones and they all had males. So that was a hard shot. That was a sweet shot. So this is an awesome lake because a lot of lakes I used to hunt for pumas only have females now. But let's have a look at the map. So as you can see, you're going to find pumas at pretty much most of the lakes. You're also going to find them sporadically along the right-hand coast. But not all the lakes will have male pumas if it is a diamond or a male that you're after. Now, the lakes with the stars, those are lakes that I found quite a few males and quite a few drink zones. But this lake here had four drink zones. Definitely check there. And the lake with the stick, that is where I recently shot a diamond. So definitely spots for you to check. Alrighty, we're moving on to Black Bucks. We are getting pretty close to the end. We are getting there. Now, Black Buck just became True Rack with the release of Bloodhound DLC. And I shot a blank. So I actually swapped out and I'm using the Solikin right now. This was a little while ago. And I did get a blank. Now, I do understand that the Solikin seems to be working better lately. I haven't used it too much, but I am going to be taking it out more often and I will check. But you are going to find True Racks now up for Black Buck and that is very cool. You can actually have a Black Buck with two different colored antlers, which is pretty sweet. Now this lake is awesome for Black Buck. And this is the lake. I wish they were named. I don't even know what to call it. But this is right beside the main Muley Lake, and this is one of my very favorite spots for Black Buck. Now, when they first came out, I did shoot a level 5 here. Sadly, it was not a diamond, but still was a beauty. And look at the size of them in here. Look at all the monsters. There are always just a pile of them here, so this is a definite must-check spot for sure. Looks like we dropped one there. Let's have a look here. I want to look at the antlers. Yeah, they're neat. So that guy's pretty nice, not too bad. He's a 120.6, so that's a pretty nice one. But this is the spot. Definitely check this spot, guys. Awesome for Black Buck. So we're along the side of California Lake, the Jaggedy Lake in the middle. And this is an awesome lake for black buck. Now you're normally gonna find a bunch at the very bottom and the very top, but you will also find zones all the way around the lake. And if you are looking for a collar for black buck, their collar is the antler rattler. Now, unfortunately, black buck are a class three species, so you are stuck with using a lower caliber rifle. So you're stuck with the 243 or the 223 or the Solikin. All right, time to have a look at the map. So I have circled all of the spots where you're going to find Black Buck. Now, this guide is not an all-inclusive guide. I'm showing you a lot of the spots, but it doesn't mean you're not going to find them elsewhere. <laughs> now, the lakes with the stars are where you are going to find just a bunch. These are my favorite spots. And that lake right at the bottom, that's a great spot for a tent. Several zones for Black Buck on that lake. Now, the lake with the stick is awesome, as well as the lake here. Definitely check that spot. That is probably my favorite spot for Black Buck on that lake. Moving on to the last species for today's guide, we are now going to have a look at Cinnamon Teal. Now, I'm not going to share a hotspot map with you for these ducks, because you're going to find them at just about every piece of water on the map. You're even going to find them along the coast. <laughs> They're not hard to find. Now, they do have zones, they do have feed zones and drink zones and so on. You'll find them all over the place regardless. Now, the nice thing about them having zones is if you do spook an important duck, turn back the time and go back, your duck will come back to its zone if you spook it. So we're using the 22 here to take down a few ducks. You can use any shotgun with birdshot. 
just got to get a little bit closer well quite a bit closer but decoys are not working right now guys they should hopefully be fixed with the next update and you know what? I would love to know what your favorite species is to hunt in Parquet. Would you guys let me know in the comments? That would be awesome. And that brings us to the end of our Parquet Hotspot Super Guide. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video and I really hope it helps you get around in Parquet. If you'd like to join us for more, that would be amazing. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.